Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. And today I'm bringing you another comparison video. This is a 2023 Volkswagen Atlas SE4 Motion Turbo. That one is a 2023 Volkswagen Atlas SE with technology turbo. Both are four motion, which means all wheel drive. Both are pure white. So we're gonna start with this one in the foreground. This is now the base unit for the Atlas. It starts out with 18 inch alloy wheels. They're machined silver and black finish. LED headlights, LED tail lights, turn signals, and reverse lights. The faux dual exhaust tips at the back with the oversized reflector. It says SE on the left corner and four motion on the right corner. Atlas right here at the base of the Volkswagen logo on the back. Visually, there's no difference to the back or the body of the car. The, the difference is gonna be in the wheels. Also, on an SE, the front two doors, front driver and uh, front row passenger side are keyless entry. The back two doors are not. This also has a manual lift gate on the back. That's the wheel pattern for the SE, 18 inch wheels there. You still have the black plastic on the, on the uh, underbody right here and into the bumper and then also up over the wheel arches here and here. The nice bold line down the side starts at the tail light, goes up over the wheel arches, under the door handles, and up into the wheel arch again in the headlights. Black roof rails, silver or chrome base window sill right there. LED headlights, dual running lights on the front here. The front two hockey sticks here and here do not light up. On this, this one here, that's only on the SEL and above. That nice aggressive chin at the base and trimmed out in flat silver right there and the three rib design in the grill. So as we go around this car here, I'm gonna take one quick more spin, one more spin around the car so you can see that in its entirety. Still tinted glass on the, all the rear windows except for the front two and of course the windshield. Now we're gonna take a look at this guy here. Visually, another difference on this one are the wheels. Now we're up to 20 inch wheels. These are aluminum alloy wheels. Body is still the same. As we go around here, still chrome at the base of the tail lights. Still says Atlas right below the logo right there. Dual chrome faux exhaust tips there and the oversized reflector. Still says SE on the left corner and four motion on the right. Now, the difference with this one, you can get it in a V6. And if you do, it's gonna say SE V6 on the left side. Let's look at those 20 inch alloy wheels. That nice bowl line on the side remains. Now you've got keyless entry on all four doors. These two and the other two on the other side. Black roof rails at the top, silver at the base of the window sill here and tinted windows. Now you've got a power lift gate as well. The same LED headlights on the front and running lights. Same aggressive chin on the front there with the air intakes off to the side. So we're gonna go back to the SE and start there. As we walk up to this one here, turn signal embedded or integrated into the, the mirror cap here and as we open it up quartzite gray on the inset right here and on the arm pad wood grain right here with a flat silver finish around it also across the dash to the other side gray inset there arm pad right there down here on the seat power lumbar forward and back seat just seat back adjust right here and the double uh, contrast stitch right here up the bolster and behind the shoulders and a double stitch in the headrest as well arm pad in the middle also has a double stitch the se only comes with a bench you can only do bench in this one you cannot do captain's chairs you cannot add a sunroof so this is a seven seater only and it's a turbo only so when we climb in here i'm going to adjust the temperature here or the fan speed you get this digital cockpit here. This is the basic digital cockpit here with the three main views. There's tachometer, there is the blended screen, and there is the speedometer screen. The vent setup is the same. The radio is AM and FM only with two USB-C connections down here and a, a pad to lay your phone on here. It is not wireless charging capable. Uh, and then your dials right here, the three dials, there's your temperature dial, there's your fan speed dial, and then there's your vent setting dial. And then your AC buttons here and your rear on and off for the rear climate control is right there. But you do keep heated seats and you do keep leatherette seats. This seat is also heated. It's completely manual. There's a loop right there to adjust it. 
over on the side over here, there's a handle to adjust the seat back. It's hard to see, it's getting dark out, uh, but it's right here. This seat cannot be raised or lowered. Wood grain right here, wood grain over there. The SE Tech will have the same. The same little storage bin right here, up here. This is an auto dimming mirror. It doesn't have the edgeless one, but you can get the other mirror if you want it. You can upgrade to it. Vanity mirror right here with an LED light on each side. The same 235 horsepower engine. Uh, it's a turbo engine. Sunglass caddy right there. Carnet free for five years. The armrest. In the armrest, it's this nice deep one here. You can get a medium-sized purse in there. There's no USB-C in here, none. But you can get a you can get a bolt-in safe that goes in here to hide your valuables or even conceal carry. There's a look at the back again, right there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna brush over some things here. Uh, I may not cover everything in this one. This is not gonna be that detailed video that you're used to. Um, 38,122 for this one here. Extras on this one include the Mojo mats, which are cloth mats. Back here in the back, even though this is an SE and it's a base unit, it still has the uh, manual the manual sunscreens right here for both the rear seats. Door inset still has the gray, arm pads still trimmed down in gray on both sides right here with that contrast stitch. Bench seat is still the same. You can get three car seats in this car. One here, one there, and one over there. 60-40 split. Your climate control right here, you have temperature control and fan speed, and then also vent settings right there. Right now it's turned off. I can turn it on, there you go. Two vents right there, and a, U I'm sorry, a 12 volt charger port down here at the base. It's kind of hard to see, but it's right there. I'm gonna turn on the light, there we go. Now you can see it there, okay? The magazine pockets here, and also over there. This is a new ad, this little uh, icon right here. You lift up on this guy, push the seat forward. There's a look at the back seats. Those headrests move up with the flick of a wrist. Very nice. Lots of room in this car. Like I said, this is a seven passenger. The cars are still, still, still reinforced on the seats, front and rear seats. And a nice light colored ceiling there. 17 cup holders. There's a look at your wheel. The back, as I said before, is a manual lift gate. Here's a look at the back. These headrests are up. I'll push them down here. And you get this storage as well. Steel reinforcing plate in those there. There's a strap to pull them back up. Cargo blocks, mojo mats. You still keep storage down below the seat right here. There's your spare tire underneath right there. And the jack off the jack is off to the side right there. Two US, I'm sorry, two uh, C pillar vents, one there and one there. Absent is the USB-C connection back here that you'll get in the SE Tech, but you still get a place to uh, uh, tie down your uh, seat belts out of the way, a seat belt clip there, and a 12 volt charger port right here. This is a manual lift gate, as I said before, so you just pull on that guy like that there. That one's done. Visually, they are very, very close. So we're gonna walk back over to the SE Tech, and as we come around here, you're gonna see a lot of the same features on the inside just upgraded keep in mind these are two different trim levels even though technology is in the name that doesn't mean it's a technology package it's totally a different just a different model wood grain continues in the door arm pads still trimmed out in quartzite gray the contrast stitch right here one touch up one touch down on all your windows just like they were on the other one i didn't mention it on the other one but they're one touch up one touch down keyless entry on all four doors and you now have a power lift gate so i can lift up on this guy right here there goes my lift gate and then I can lift up on that button and hold it, and I can close that same lift gate. Power lift gate. Roof rails are still black. Window sills are still trimmed out in chrome. The seat looks exactly the same here for the driver. Lumbar support, forward and back, seat back adjust right here. Same contrast stitch, a double contrast stitch here. Up the bolster, behind it, shoulders. Same with the headrest, same with the armrest. Now when I climb into this one, there's a look. Bench seats again, light headliner again, but there is a panoramic sunroof also added to this one. This is an upgrade. This is not an op not an uh, standard option, but it is an upgrade. It is an option for the car. So this one has that option on it. It adds 1200 bucks to the car. There's your power sunshade. And there goes the sunroof. That pane of glass there stacks on top of that one back there. Pop-up windscreen right there. Digital cockpit right here. It changes. 
you now have a, an upgraded digital cockpit pro without the navigation and you still get three main views there's your dial screen there's your wide screen and then there is your crop screen automatic headlights just like you did in the other one i don't think i went over that but they're there coin box for storage right there that is still here as well so automatic headlights coin box for storage leather wrap flat bottom steering wheel that's going to be the same as well oh by the way the se that i just got out of does regular cruise control not adaptive cruise control this one does adaptive cruise control regular cruise control side assist rear traffic alert and i think that's going to be it oh front assist so i can actually close out of that too um flat bottom steering wheel flat silver finish right here splash of piano black the steering wheels are going to be the same on the two although the other one just does regular cruise control and this one you can choose between the two storage bin right up there again the radio is now upgraded this is an am fm and satellite radio with gesture control i can take my stick my hand up there to wake it up that little hand right there tells me it's looking for my hand movement there and i can swipe my hand across there and actually change the presets there the backup camera in this one this one does have uh, trajectory steering i didn't demonstrate the backup camera in that one but it's just a regular hd camera no trajectory steering um <coughs> excuse me climate control down here three buttons here but they're multi-purpose so they're split in two there's your max defrost your rear defrost or your menu which is your touch screen for climate control on the screen here you can also do air care on this i'm going to close the sunroof so i can demonstrate that for you air care if I make it active, it's telling me the window or door is open. But as soon as that sunroof is done, it will actually start. Blue line expands to show me the air scrubbing, or the, the air filtration that's working in the car, scrubbing the air before it circulates it in the car. Um, up here on the mirror, I don't want to get that light on there. There's the mirror. It's an auto dimming mirror again. Rain sensing wipers on both of these units. You do also have up here a vanity mirror with an LED light above on each side. Just like that right there, LED light there. There's a look at that giant panoramic sunroof again. Seat is still the same. It is it is a manual seat. There's a loop for it right there. There is the handle on the side over there. And I didn't go over the glove box in either one, but the glove box is gonna be the same. Your manuals are right here. Tire warranty in there. Wood grain on the dash and also over here. In the armrest, USB-C right here. So you have two USB-Cs here. A 12 volt charger port here as well wireless charging on this pad right here and another USB-C right there this one also has park distance control so there's sensors in the front and the rear I can bring that camera up on demand as long as I'm stationary by pushing that button right there and that's my park distance sensors right there I'm going to go ahead and turn that off too both of these cars will have the four motion knob right here so I can turn it to snow mode there's my snow mode and my driving mode, which is eco, normal, sport, and custom, all displayed right here. And I can also push the button here to change that, to save on fingerprints. And I also have off-road and off-road custom. Off-road custom will allow the tweaking. And you can do that on the SE as well. It just won't be as much control, as many things as you that you can control on that one as this one. Now, back to the roadway. Both are going to share a key fob like this. Uh, the other one, key fob though, only has lock, unlock, and the rear hatch. So it's three buttons instead of four. Panic alarm is on the side. Let's take a look at the back seats. This one here, as long as I don't get a reflection here. This one is 43, 492. Extras on this one are 1200 bucks for the sunroof. 327 for uh, the power, I'm uh, oh, sorry, 327 for the mojo mats. All right. As we open this one up here, the bench looks exactly the same. It's the same bench assembly. Three car seats, one there, one there, one there. Armrest in the middle, right there with a cup holder in it. If I can get that off of there, that's, you know this is a new car, car when you have that there. Sunshades are built into both windows, just like before. Gray inset right here with the contrast stitching and an arm pad, same over there. Climate control right here same controls here down below two usb c's and a three-prong plug-in so you can charge a laptop there's a look back up front there so better radio up front same mirror rain sensing wipers panoramic sunroof right there same icon here same same seats in the back here so you can get passengers in either one of these and both of these being four cylinder turbos they're gonna have the same horsepower there's a look at your wheel right there back here at the back here is 
that power lift gate. Mojo mats back here in the back, cargo blocks as well, cargo containment system, and then I can also fold these seats flat, just like I did in the other one. USB, I'm sorry, I keep calling those USB-C. Uh, C-pillar vents here and here. Now, right here, there's also uh, USB-C connections right there, giving you a total of seven. 12 volt charger port right there, seat belt clips here, and also here. Bag hook on each of those as well. Beneath the floor right here, here's where the spare tire is, right down there. Just remove that guy right there, pull out the carpet, and your spare tire is right there, and the jack is off to the side again in this one as well. There's your button to push and close. Both of these cars come with a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on them from Volkswagen. That's four years, 50,000 miles, and includes two years of free maintenance. So your 10 and 20,000 mile oil changes are covered. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberville St. Peter's, I'm gonna give you a third year of free maintenance as well. So your 10, 20, and 30,000 mile oil changes are covered. That's a local deal only at my dealership. You have to come to my dealership to get that. Also, if you buy from me in Bomberito St. Peter's, I'm going to give you a 10-year, 200,000-mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. Free of charge, nearly a quarter million miles. So if you're interested in a car like this, give me a call, 636-290-4257, 636-290-4257. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Resales Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great day.